Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about what can kind of be done. I'm getting close to the end here, so I'm gonna hop over. I have a couple other scenes. The other scene I'm gonna hop over to is the Cinemachine scene. I haven't really talked a lot about Cinemachine because we haven't really been using, we've only been using timeline and the post-processing effects, but you know, at this point I have sort of this this, this world that's built, that's really cool, it looks the way I want, I've got all these effects and stuff like that. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna say like, okay, well, what can I do with that? Let's say I'm at this point of pre-production where I have this concept, I've built all these concept art pieces, I, I, I have all my you know, screen captures, this color, the blocking, all this stuff, all of my production is kicking off, we decided this is good, let's let's build some teasers. And what can we achieve in this level, in, the, in this scene, without needing to do even more customization, stuff like that? So. In this other scene, it's this uh, Cinemachine scene, I have this Cinematics Timeline. And inside the Cinematics Timeline, I have a few different Cinemachine setups here. So when I say I, of course, credit where credit's due, this were built by our guru, Adam Myhill, he built some really cool stuff here. I've got these two things, Moody, and I've got uh, this thing, Dark Energetic. And Dark Energetic is the one that's on right now. And so, you know, I've got some audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play this and again, these are all things that were in the other scene that were using Cinemachine with these Cinemachine uh, tracks to make the cameras track different things. And uh, let's just take a look at what that looks like. So I'm gonna hit play. And again, these are all of the things we can get out of the scene. So we've got some music. Uh, we're following this drum. We're using, again, no code. This is Cinemachine and Timeline. Timeline saying, okay, Cinemachine, I'll zoom in here and I'll focus on that. Now switch to this other virtual camera that's, that's rotating around this thing that's following it. Stuff. It's really cool. We're gonna see you know, a Cinemachine image effect where the color is gonna bleed out except for the faceplate of this guy right here. So everything else goes to black and white and his face just sort of turns this purple, blue, whatever. You know, so again, just kind of a neat way of looking at this scene. These are all the things we've been seeing so far. And this pan out and stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. We get the idea here. This is one way of looking at the scene that you sort of fades the fog there. Okay. So that is one way of viewing the scene. Again, all the stuff we already had, but just using timelines in the machine to move a camera around and say, hey, what if we looked at this? And what if we looked at that? Let's play this music instead. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on my Cinemachine track and my audio track. I'm gonna mute those. Just my audio, just Cinemachine. The other animations and stuff are still there. And so now I'm gonna come over to this track and I'm just gonna unmute these. Okay, different camera setup. Uh, so these are just, again, camera clips. Each one of these represents a different view. All right, in my scene of what it's looking at, we've got things like this, which are, you know, Again, it's all, I can just scrub to see this stuff and whatever. So let's actually see this in action. I'll go ahead and play this scene now. We can take a look at this one. Slightly different music. So here we go, we have another sort of scene, another way to look at this. Sorry if the volume was too loud previously. Who knows, it might still be too loud. But uh, again, same objects, different look and feel. chat says it needs more cowbell. I agree. And then it sort of faded darkness. Uh, someone, while we're sort of watching this here, um, Someone said, uh, how do you add the post-processing stack? Uh, do you do a bunch, do one at a time, whatever? Yeah, I mean, honestly, the way I reconstructed this project, you know, to show you guys today, was kind of like what I showed you as I was doing it, right? I add a volume, I tweak it, I say, oh, this could use a little bit of this, or this could use a little bit of that, and I add another volume, or whatever, and you sort of build it up, you know, subtlety, and build it up through layers and stuff like that, as opposed to trying to do everything with like one volume, with one effect, whatever, and it makes it very difficult. It's much easier to have three volumes that you can animate between, or, you know, set overrides on, than to try to have one volume that you're animating through code or whatever, um, that does everything, which is fairly difficult to do. So, you know, more volumes makes things a lot simpler. 
So, okay, so that is going to kind of wrap up everything I had today. Mostly just, again, want to talk about pre-production, creative prototyping. How do we put this stuff together? How do we get it to look like this, right? How do we take all of these things that are disjointed, that come from the asset store, from different packages, and how do we put them together? You know, I'm going to just to take a step back, I'm going to go back to uh, the, the scene I was in previously. I'm going to sort of unwind and turn a bunch of this stuff off. So if I were to, you know, I'm going to turn the, this, this post-processing effect off here. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to, actually, I'll just do this through my control. So let's say, you know, let's turn these off. I'm going to turn off, you know, turn the people off. I'm going to turn off post-processing. I'm going to turn off the fog, the scattering. I'm going to tur turn off the emissives, the signs, the props. You know, that's where we were. Um, this is the collider there. Let me turn that off there. Boop. There we go. So that's where we were uh, when we started this. And again, all these disjointed pieces from the asset store and stuff like that, all sort of put together to give us, you know, this really cool effect. You know, fogs, light scattering, post-processing, missive signs, props, people, all of it working together to give us this really cool look and feel. All right. So... I'm going to stick around to answer some questions in chat, but I'm going to toss this up here at this point. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, please always feel free to follow us, uh, message us on Twitter, at Unity3D, at The Ant Ranch, at Matt Mirafish, at Mike Geig. And if you have any questions about you know, post-processing, about timeline, about Cinemachine, about how you put these things together, how do you build a prototype, how do you concept in Unity, you know, I'm here to answer any of your questions. Uh, I'll, I'm going to stick around. Uh, let me check chat real quick here to see if there's anything, and then otherwise we'll, we'll wrap up the video feed.